Why, why does it shape so quickly? The understanding of the pattern. Understanding the pattern? What else? When you were doing some repetitions there, and you were, you were timing. So nine repetitions, and he's like, nope, 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 nope. After he got to smell the dog, three reps, and I was able to right. fade the lure. Oh, okay. So he was able to smell the dog, so therefore able to now focus on you? Now he the goes, reward. Oh, yes. The reward is the dog, right? He yes. wants to get to the dog, yeah. That's it. So the dog's like, oh, shit, that's all I wanted. That's all I wanted. This is all I got to yeah. do. That's all I wanted. And so it now progress happens very quickly. It's okay. such a, a behavior is a fucking fascinating thing. Like it, 10 reps is actually a lot. And, you know, the fact that after he got to finally greet the dog and smell the dog, that it went warp speed and I could fade the lure yeah. and I got an auto sit off of two reps, essentially. Like he got to smell the dog and two, one rep later right? He's working beautifully. And so that's the power of figuring out the reinforcement for the dog, what's rewarding to the dog or what the dog's goals are. Let's just forget about reinforcement for a second. What's the dog goal? Like, what are their priorities? Treats, fine. You know, toys, yes. High drive dogs are going to love toys, etc. But if you can play with a dog's intrinsic need for hyper social dogs, they are intrinsically wanting to either greet, sniff, or interact with dogs. If you can use their priority and shape it as a reward pathway, you go very quickly in the process. 